Good afternoon, Kendall Land. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. We have rain showers stretching from central to northern South Dakota. These are trying to move to the southeast. We'll continue with our periods or scattered rain throughout the afternoon, eventually trying to move in the eastern Kettle Land. Cooling behind this cold front that's swinging through. We'll have 70s and 80s for afternoon highs for the rest of the week. Right now we have temperatures ranging from the 50s where we've had the clouds and the rain in central South Dakota to near 80 in southeastern Kettle Land. Forecast for today, I'll just say steady temperatures or slowly falling this afternoon. More details on that forecast coming up as we begin midday in Kettle Land. Live from Kettle Land Media Group, midday in Kettle Land. An investigation is underway after an early morning fire near downtown Sioux Falls. Mild symptoms for First Lady Jill Biden after she tested positive for COVID. I'm Skyler Henry in Washington with the precautions President Biden is taking ahead of his trip to India. Good afternoon and thanks for having us in. Investigators in Sioux Falls are looking into what sparked a fire in the central part of the city earlier this morning. Fire Rescue says it happened at a business in the 700 block of East 8th Street just before 4.30. Crews arriving on scene found flames coming from the back of the building. Crews were able to put the fire out in five minutes. No one was hurt. A Sioux Falls man is in the Minnehaha County Jail following a report of gunshots in downtown Sioux Falls. Police responded to the call early Saturday morning near 10th and Phillips Avenue. Officers say that they saw 30-year-old Tyrese Washington drop a gun on the ground and run away. They caught up with him and made an arrest. The investigation also turned up two other guns, shell casings, damage to a business window nearby. Washington is charged with having a firearm as a former drug offender. A Belfouche man is in the Minnehaha County Jail accused of damaging a $10,000 sculpture. Police say 32-year-old Jed Smink pulled on a sculpture near the federal courthouse late Sunday night, causing the artwork to break into multiple pieces. Smink is charged with intentional damage to property and scheduled to make his first court appearance this afternoon. Well, after the heat of the weekend, we're having more seasonal temperatures in the days to come, right, Scott? No, oh, we are. You know, wave goodbye to those 90s and 100s we had over the holiday weekend. Cooler weather arriving uh, today, you know, western, central, northern Kettle Land, probably in the upper 50s to low 60s for the rest of the afternoon, as we are following some rain showers that do extend from central to north central South Dakota. These are uh, pinwheel pinwheeling around that area of low pressure that is moving to the east, as you can see, this will eventually move to the east and to the southeast as we go through the afternoon. This is uh, using our Huron radar, so we have the rain from here over toward Herald and to the north, and that will continue to travel to the southeast. I think this will eventually fill in this afternoon, too, uh, areas such as Aberdeen and the parts of northeastern South Dakota. As we do take a look at some of the rainfall amounts, just going over the past 24 hours, just enough to dot the landscape in northeastern Kettle Land, but it has been heavy from Mobridge to Eureka, the amounts there at an inch or more. And then you see a couple of these amounts coming in around the tenth of an inch in Pier to about a third of an inch in Rapid City. So as we go through the afternoon, we are looking at temperatures to remain above average. We're at 85 right now in Sioux Falls. That's above average in southeastern Kettle Land. But we do have cooler numbers where that front has moved through. You can see our temperatures do range from 72 in Aberdeen to 57 in Eureka, 58 degrees in Mobridge. Keep in mind, too, we have the clouds and we have the rain in central and north central South Dakota. So here's that forecast for today. I think temperatures will remain steady or slowly fall during the rest of the afternoon. We will watch for these isolated showers and thunder showers to appear as we do go through the afternoon hours. In Aberdeen and northeastern South Dakota, temperatures will eventually hit the middle 50s for overnight lows. While into central South Dakota, we'll go with steady temperatures slowly falling. Oh, and check out the Rapid City live cam behind the graphic there. That's smoke. So reducing the visibilities due to the smoke in the western South Dakota. As I'll have more details on your Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. A section of the Great Wall of China was damaged recently after vandals looking to create a shortcut use an excavator to dig through it. Still photographs released showed missing portions and a dirt road passing through a section of the wall in the northeast of the country. A statement released by local authorities said they were first alerted to the damage on August 24th. An investigation revealed an excavator had been used. Two suspects were detained for further questioning 
and they performed the excavation to, quote, save time and distance. First Lady Jill Biden has tested positive for COVID-19. It's her second time battling the coronavirus, and her age puts her at higher risk for residual ailments. As CBS's Skylar Henry reports, President Joe Biden continues to get tested. First Lady Jill Biden is battling COVID-19 for the second time. At 72 years old, her age puts her at higher risk for serious COVID illness. She's staying at the family vacation home in Rehoboth Beach as a precaution. And the White House says she's experiencing only mild symptoms. I hope my students welcome me like that on Tuesday. <laughs> The First Lady is also missing the first day of school, teaching at a local community college. I teach English. I teach at NOVA. Aides say she'll be temporarily replaced with substitutes. Her diagnosis comes at a time when cases are ticking up in the U.S. COVID is rising across the country, and there has been some spillover into hospitalizations. According to the CDC, hospitalizations were up almost 19 percent in one week last month. President Biden has so far tested negative and continues to test frequently as he prepares for a trip overseas. The president is set to travel to India to meet with G20 partners later this week, followed by Vietnam. So far, those plans remain in place. Heading into the fall season, doctors are advising eligible people to get the new COVID shot. We have every expectation that the new booster, which will become available in mid-September, should provide protection against severe disease caused by these variants going forward. High-risk individuals may want to consider regularly wearing masks again. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.